What's up, everybody? Welcome to Sasquatch Built Athletes. Sasquatch, what's up? Woo! Brought my man, man, Coop Dog, back for this one. Yes, sir. Hey, before we start, go to Sasquatch Built Athletes. Subscribe, like, share, comment. Yes, Get it all over the world, baby. Okay, so for today, athletes interviews, we're going to turn it on us, and you're going to ask us questions. We asked you guys earlier today to share some questions with us that you'd like us to answer, and I got some. You know what, Coop? Do you have any words of wisdom right now for these people? Words of wisdom. You got to do the things that those people aren't willing to do. Right now, we just got a workout done at 10.30. 11.10 right now. 11.10. Because we're grinders. Get it done. That's all we do. Okay, hey, first question comes to us. Cooper, what is the key to greatness? Key to greatness is staying consistent and be willing, like I said earlier, to do the things that other people aren't willing to do. Uh, I agree with that, and you got to do it behind closed doors where nobody is watching. And here's the deal. People will see it. They will see the change in you. They'll see the change in your behavior, your attitude, your motivation, inspiration. They'll see your body change. They'll see your physical skill movement love change. It. Everything. I love it. Be sick. It's exactly. I feel like we crushed that question number one. Question number one, boom. Boom, done. Ooh, I like this one. How do you stay motivated to practice when there's days you don't feel like it? Man, that's a great question. I would say the one thing for me is knowing your why. And you can get on a whole different ch tangent on that. But for me, it's understanding what's important to you, what do you want to accomplish, and staying to that path because you know you're going to get taken down different directions. But if what you want to accomplish is important enough to you and it means a lot to you, then nothing gets in your way. We also call that the process, right? Because you have the end of your book, the chapter the finale, which you're going towards, right? And if you don't enjoy the process or still stay motivated to it, you're never exactly. going to get to the end of your book. So, hey, the motivation comes to seeing the, end, the light at the end of the tunnel. Hey, but also mix up your workouts. Mix up your routines. Don't stay stagnant. Okay, change the days and the times. Just get creative with your workouts also so you don't, hey, just get in a routine and fall asleep with it, baby. You got to stay strong. I would say to follow up with that is adapting too, evolving into something different, learning something new and always being a learner and never staying stagnant with what you are trying oh, to Oh, dude, you're, you're like liquid gold. Okay, hey, my guy. Now, this isn't fair because I put you on the spot and you don't even know the question. So I'll turn this one on myself. All right, what's one piece of advice that you have received from a coach that has stuck with you? Mine is super simple. Okay, I had a coach tell me, you got to have more energy than the kids you coach or train. Simple, and I think I can attest to that. I always bring my A game. I always like to bring the hype, okay, and motivation, inspiration, make sure these little guys see what the example looks like. What I can't stand, okay, obviously I don't have it with my trainer here. Like, don't tell me how to lose weight, you fatty. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be overweight and tell me how to get in shape. Exactly. Practice what you preach. That's what my coach told me. What walk, do you got, Coop? Walk the walk. I'll never forget this. I remember it was the first meeting with Case at Oregon State. The first thing he said was, you know, everybody is here to outwork you, and you're going against not just yourself, but you're going against the nation. You're going against other teams that are have be better weather conditions, better environment than you, and we're here in Corvallis, Oregon, with pissing rain, <laughs> and we got to make it work. So we had to get in whatever we could and put in the work that was almost outlandish, and that's where we built that framework and see that success from outworking everybody else and knowing through that hard work, builds that confidence. Dude, I love it. All right, hey, now, what are some keys to success to be a student athlete? You now, want you Go for it first, big dog. The first thing for me was balance, having a plan going into every single week. My Sunday nights is prioritizing what I need to get, get accomplished. I was going through pharm pharmacy school my freshman year while playing ball and had to plan out when I had study time, when practice was, and literally have a planner with me and write out what I need to get done and have a to-do list. And then for me, I'm going to tell you what I didn't do. So learn from my mistakes, <laughs> okay? And the key is, is, hey, it's simple. Get organized. Get a plan. Stick to your plan. Execute it, okay? Now, there's somebody behind the camera laughing at me right now because that's so far from me right now. So I'm just telling you what not to do. If you want to be a student athlete these days, okay, you can't do what I did back in high school. I'm not even going to tell you what I did, how to survive. Um, Rick Ackerman, my brother, thank you for your help and all the wonderful people that I sat next to and bribed and bought your lunch with my, <laughs> with my, with my dad's hard-earned money because I didn't have any money uh, in high school. But I sure bought your lunch to help me with my math. And you know who you are. I'm not going to say your name. Okay. <laughs> Coop Dog. Okay. Now, here's the deal. I have one last question for you. And this is going to be the best. What is your favorite question that a parent 
has ever asked you or even like somebody that's ever asked you in your coaching right now? Oh, man. Oh, that can go in so many different directions. What do you mean by that? So you're saying like right now. Okay, so hey, yeah, you, yeah, let's, because I've coached a lot of teams, so it's going to be a little bit directed differently towards me. But like, right. okay, so one of your clients, you, you probably have some typical question that clients ask you that are your favorite. What would you say they are? They could be funny too. Dude, I just have ridiculous questions, like super broad questions, like how do you build muscle or like how do I get a six pack? And so many people think it's that quick step, like six pack shortcuts you'll see on online with the fitness influencing and how that whole space is directing towards the wrong, like they're showing you the wrong way to do things. And what I reiterate is literally staying consistent and sticking to a plan. You know, when it comes to getting the body that you want, it's not just talking about it or like hearing about it, it's doing the push-ups and it's eating clean, whole foods and staying smart with your nutrition. And those questions like that just kill me because you know the answer, you just don't want to do it. And it's all these excuses that get flown to me. I thought you were going a different direction with that sound. That's good. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, hey, yeah, I I love it, man. Okay, so hey, I'm going to go a little bit different direction with this one because this one's kind of funny. So the biggest thing for me with, with parents is they want to know how to, like, I want my kid to succeed. I want to put him in a position to be successful. How does he get more power? How does he become more epic and everything like that? But the problem is, is that parents aren't willing to do what it actually takes. Let your kid fail. Let him learn how to like fail that. and let him learn from his failure to, in order to gain strength and get a plan and get better so he doesn't, hey, he fails less and less each day. It is so hard for parents to see their kid fail. I am a victim of that also. I got two little boys, and I get it. It's tough, but we know deep down that the best thing for them to do is to fail, learn, and get, come back and get stronger for sure. It is hard. Now, parents, one last thing while we're on it, because I could go off for like a whole segment on this one. <laughs> okay, listen. Your identity and who you are is not how good your son does in baseball or daughter does in softball. That is not defined your family or who you are as a person. So if your daughter strikes out or your son strikes out or he gives up a 109,000 foot bomb, okay, as a person, as a dad or a mom, like, you're still cool. You're still legit. You're a great parent, okay? Your son or daughter just got rocked or they just got embarrassed. That's it. Let them learn, get better. Okay, but don't go hide around the bleachers and put your head down and start crying because you're so ashamed of your daughter who just struck out. Okay, Don't do that. It looks bad. And for a coach who sits on third base and gets bored sometimes, I love watching parent reactions. So a little healthy parent, uh, pressure for you parents out there. I like to watch your reactions. I'll try to film them sometime, and then I'll show them to you one day after your daughter's out of her program in case you get too mad. So anyways, dude. I could talk forever on that subject for sure. I love that. I think that was great, dude. Stop keeping up with the Joneses. Let your kids fail. Let them learn on their own. Love it. Okay, now here, here's the deal. We need more interaction, though, from you guys. So if you have any more questions, make yeah. sure you ask Coop and I. Dude, Absolutely. we love this stuff. We're going to be, I mean, we're going to be killing it. Uh, pretty soon we're going to be global, so get your answers now before we start traveling uh, overseas because we have a lot of people that want our content, okay? But first, we need you to go to Sasquatch Built Athletes and subscribe. Come on, like, people, subscribe comment. To Change the game. Hey, also, buy some of our T-shirts. They're going to be sick. And if you got any, like, names or anything, kind of slogans Set or anything you want on our T-shirt, let us know. Like, help us out. You're part of us. We're a part of you. We're going to do this together. Change the world. Coop, say goodbye to him. Peace out, Sasquatch Bill. Boom, make today count. Boom, dog. Boom. No, it, no. Dude, we absolutely annihilated that. Dude, I love that you brought that up. Let your kids fail. I've literally seen that on so many different topics lately because that's such One a huge issue. One take hit wonders. Dude. We, awesome. We're gonna-